hey, I didn't see you there. So tomorrow, well, in two hours, I'm turning 21, and me and my friends have been put in this house, and it just really sucks. I mean, you're all just sitting out there watching some freaking Disney movie. I'm about to turn 21. I want to be taking shots and stuff like that. And I, th I thought they were my friends. Like, I thought we were supposed to be going out or doing something. You know, I just thought I was supposed to be the center of attention because, you know, it's my birthday and everything. But they're just watching some freaking Disney movie about some girl with long hair. I mean, my hair's long enough, I thought. Tired of watching Tangled, and since it's Allison's birthday and all, I guess I could show you guys what I got her for her birthday. It's a whole bunch of things because you know it's her 21st birthday and she's like a really good friend. So I got her this picture of Conoco Phillips. It's a cool office, and I got her these crackers. You know she's always running and stuff. She needs to get carbs and stuff. And I got her this popcorn because the same reason. And then I got her this flask because she's turning 21. And then I got her this copy of Dianetics because I think it'll really help her out a lot, you know, because I don't know if she was actually supposed to be Catholic. So like this will this will help. Um, and then something to listen to while she's doing Dianetics. This is the Driscoll Middle School Orchestra Holiday Concert from 2002. Some really, who doesn't like Christmas music? I mean, really, except for Brian. Um, this is the Conoco Phillips cup that Allison can use when she's training. And then that's it. Happy birthday, Allison, I guess. Alright, so for Allison's birthday, um, I didn't actually buy anything for her. I guess she's a friend of mine or something, but um, I found these back in some closet. Um, these are some shot glasses made out of ice. It's pretty cool. Um, here's some pineapple vodka that's been in our freezer for like who knows how long. And a little bit of Jose Cuervo that Brian hasn't used on margaritas yet. But yeah, I got all that stuff for my 21st birthday and um, figured, why not recycle? Oh, and I also found this old CD of Allison's that she gave me two years ago. Yeah, January 2010 from Allison Rice. And since she probably likes all these songs, I think it's a pretty safe bet. And these are my gifts for Alice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so for Allison's birthday, 21, um, I got her a really special gift. It's this big Bevo. He's a really good friend. I just noticed that She's been looking a little bit lonely, and um, I just think that's really sad on somebody's birthday, especially such an important occasion, 21st birthday. Um, so I just wanted to give her this nice Bevo um, so that she'll have a friend who will keep her warm on these cold January nights. Um, yeah, happy birthday, Allison. That's right, so don't make me. 
Let's just turn around and get you home. Man, I get back my sandwich. You get back a mother-daughter relationship based on mutual trust. And voila, we part ways as unlikely friends. Well, most people think of being 21 as the age where you can go out and buy alcohol and order beer at a bar or something like that. But what most people don't know is that 21 is also the age that you can take the oath to become a police officer. And it's actually, in addition to purchasing alcohol, is what I'll be doing tomorrow. Uh, this is my training officer, Annie. And I've been working on a couple of police tactics and stuff, so we're just going to practice them one last time before I have to start putting them into effect tomorrow. Action. I mean, that was only, you know, 
not much, but you did well. I'm, I'm so proud of you. <sighs> The movie's finally over. This has been the worst birthday ever. Honestly, I don't know what could make this day any worse.